second day update with the Playhouse. Yeah, go out with somebody, but for whatever reason, another date does not seem to be happening. That's why you need the Playhouse's second date update. Today we got Heidi. Heidi, tell us about this guy, what you did, how you met, all that stuff. Yeah, so I um, just met this guy, Cole. Uh, we met on Bumble, and we were, you know, kind of going back and forth for a couple of weeks, and so we finally met up for a date, um, and it was just a little coffee date, and we actually had a really good time. He was really funny, and he was really cute. I liked him, um, but it was kind of a short date. We knew it wasn't going to be that long because I had to go run and do something with my family, um, so I texted him when I was with my family, and he's just kind of short the way he responded and then I've you know a couple of days have gone by I've texted him he's just not responding and I have no idea what happened and you're saying the date was good so you don't think anything on the date may have been like a red flag or thrown him off or anything yeah nothing at all it was a, like honestly it was maybe one of the best first dates I've ever been on from my end so I'm just kind of I'm really thrown I'm like why isn't he did not did he not have the same experience that I had, you know? Well, if he, if you're open to it, we'll just go ahead and try to get you another date here. At the very least, we'll get you some closure, and you can at least figure out, you know, if he's not interested, why he's not interested. Yeah, that's exactly what I think I'd like to hear. Could be a misunderstanding, the whole, like, oh, I got to blah, blah, blah with my family. He might have thought he was getting blown off, and I was like, no, no, I'm good. Because some people, once they get the sense that they're getting kind of jerked around, they're like, I'm done. Yeah, especially if he's like, oh, she already has an excuse if she wants to get out of this. Maybe that's what it is. But maybe it's just a matter of kind of clarifying what was going on. We'll call him here in a sec, okay? The number one hit music station. Y94. That's my house. Y94 in the middle of second date updates. For when you're getting ghosted or blown off, this is Second Date Update. Been visiting with Heidi so far in the Playhouse Second Date Update. She had this to say. Quick recap. Yeah, so I um, just met this guy, Cole. Uh, We met on Bumble, and we were, you know, kind of going back and forth for a couple of weeks. And so we finally met up for a date. Um, And it was just a little coffee date. And we actually had a really good time. He was really funny, and he was really cute. I liked him. Um, but it was kind of a short date. We knew it wasn't going to be that long because I had to go run and do something with my family. Um, so I texted him when I was with my family and he's just kind of short the way he responded. And then I've, you know, a couple of days have gone by. I've texted him. He's just not responding and I have no idea what happened. And you're saying the date was good. So you don't think anything on the date may have been like a red flag or thrown him off or anything? Maybe one of the best first dates I've ever been on from my end. Not to oversell it, it's just it's the best person I've ever met and the best date I've ever had. I mean, the bar is pretty high. Yeah, no kidding. So to understand what's going on there, we're going to need Cole. Cole, do you hear us okay? Hello? Hey there, bud. So it's uh, it's kind of Amy was explaining. We were hoping to talk to you for a couple of minutes. I don't think she told you why, though. We do a segment called Second Date Update, and we've been visiting a little bit this morning with Heidi and she's curious why you seem to be ghosting her if you don't, aren't into her or something. Yeah. Um, no, no, I, I, um, I'm sure she probably told you. Heidi and I, we, we met on Bumble, and we had mm-hmm. a, a date a little while ago. We went out for coffee, and I'll be honest, I really liked her. I, uh, she definitely looks just like her picture, which you know, is a rare thing on Bumble, and we hit it off. It was just, um, it was just one thing. I, I caught her in a lie uh, during our date. Mm-hmm. Wait, what? A lie? What did I lie about? I I just said that I had to go to my parents. I wasn't lying about that. I was really having a no, good no, time. No, 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 no. That, that's that's not what I'm talking about. I, I I I'm not calling you a liar on that part. It's just on the dating profile, you said you, that you were a non-smoker, and when you when we walked away and said goodbye, I saw you vaping uh, on your way to the car, and you know that's. I just wish you would have been more honest about that. Well, I I mean, I am a non-smoker. I don't smoke cigarettes. I feel like, I mean, I just vape. Like, I don't I don't like smoke. I don't like the smell. I'm totally not a smoker. So using my vape, is. I feel like that's completely different. I understand how some people can see it that way. But here, here's the thing. A lot of people think that vaping is safer, and technically it is safer than cigarettes, but you're still putting a lot of harmful chemicals in your body. And telling you something a little personal, I have lost family to lung cancer because of smoking, and it's just hmm. something I don't want to put myself through ever again. And... 
you seem like a great girl, but I just I, I don't want to associate with anybody who smokes or vapes or does anything like that. I just want to stay away from that. I do think, and I'm so sorry to hear that, that you, you dealt with this in your life there, Cole, but I do think that maybe the, like lie is a strong word. I don't think you caught her in a lie. I think you guys just have different definition of smoking. When she sees non-smoker and smoker, she's specifically thinking about like cigarettes or something like that. For you, that's all in the same category. Yeah, I mean, there's so many things that are subjective. I mean, if if you want to look at it like yeah, you, you vape, so that technically you're a non-smoker, I look at it differently, and I'm sure a lot of people will have their opinions, but I just, like I said, I just, uh, I just don't want to get mixed up with, you know, that thing again. It's just, it's too difficult for me. Any chance of yeah. another date if we were to pay for it? You guys want to go out again, or is this just there's nothing happening here? You're done. It doesn't yeah, sound. I mean, like Heidi, uh, good luck with good luck with everything. I definitely think you're a wonderful person. I just I, no, no. I just I can't I can't associate with that. It's it's too personal for me. Yeah, I mean, I hear that it's really personal, and I hear where you're coming from. But I mean, I. I it sounds like it's too late to have a conversation about it. I would have liked to just talk about it, you know, because it's not like, you know, who I am. So it's something that I would have talked to you about and, you know, if things were going well between us. But listen, if that's how you feel and that's kind of the end of it for you, then I also wish you the best, I guess. I appreciate that. All right, guys. Appreciate you both being on today. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. Yeah, you do. I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, just a, a difference in lifestyle choice is one of the more in, understandable reasons we have a second date update not mm-hmm. work out. As far as texts go, are they getting any feedback or not really? Someone said, personally, I would want to date a non-smoker, and I don't want to be with someone who is addicted to nicotine. That includes people who vape as well. So if I was her, you should put yourself down as a non-smoker, but also say that you vape so people can make a choice on whether they're still interested or not. Uh, someone said, I get where he's coming from. I feel like it's pretty shallow reason to go someone. He should have just said why he didn't want to go out with her again when she tried contacting him. A round of Am I the Jerk Not Too Far Off? Playhouse family member Casey had a bit of a confrontation in a grocery store recently. That and Am I the Jerk after MKTO's classic Playhouse Y94.